Team coverage for you this morning. Winter might not officially arrive until Saturday night, but it is certainly feeling like it out there this morning. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Francis is live outside our Connecticut Chevy early warning weather tracker too. So Caitlin, how does it feel out there? Ooh, Eric Burr, it's freezing outside this morning. Cold does not even describe it. We're going to take a look at that time and temperature sign right behind me here in Cromwell. 15 degrees it's reading here this morning, but it feels much colder when that wind blows. And when the mercury drops like this, it can be extremely dangerous. That's why Governor Ned Lamont already activated the state's severe cold weather protocol for the first time this season. That means emergency services activates its web EOC, which allows local, regional and state emergency management officials and first responders to share information. More importantly, it monitors capacity at shelters. 211 will act as a way to help find shelter space, also help with transportation needs for those people seeking shelter. It's something that's overwhelming for him because, you know, he's coming from Puerto Rico and being in this blizzard that we just passed, that is, uh, he's shaking and it's cold and it's pretty cold out here. Yeah, it is pretty cold out here. The st state's severe cold weather protocol is in effect through Saturday morning, and we have a full list of where those warming shelters are throughout the state. If you're looking for that information, make sure you download the Channel 3 app. For now, we are live outside Early Warning Weather Tracker 2 in Cromwell. Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.